Hey guys, J-Man here. All right, weekly X-Men talk. I am back from Gotham Central Comics in Mississauga, my number one comic shop. Go there every week. Let's get to it. All right, um, random stuff here. I picked up uh, a True Believers New Mutants. This is number 13. <clears throat> um, if you've been watching some of my New Mutant stuff, you know that I've gotten really like pumped up for New Mutants. So now I'm going to have to buy everything because that's just how it goes when you're a collector. Um, some of these issues I just won't be able to get. Uh, New Mutants 98. There's this character, Deadpool. Never heard of him, but apparently he's popular because that issue is really hard to get. So I'm probably not going to be able to get that one. I'll probably have to get the True Believers edition of that because I'm a true believer. Um, so I got this one as well. I guess this is the, is this the first cipher, number 13. Not really sure, but I grabbed it. Um, these are some old ones. This is number 16. Is this the first Empath? Oh, Empath has got a big role in, um, in today's book, man. He's such a douche, but I love him. He's so great. All right. Yeah, New Mutants, that's True Believers. I'm going to get New Mutants 98 True Believers. Um, so yeah, but this is this week's take. So, uh, Captain Marvel, sorry, Captain Marvel. Marvel is no longer with us. Um, so yeah, I'll review that on a separate video. This is X-Men Talk today. I ended up grabbing the Ten of Swords uh, handbook. So this is really good if you need some, just like some information on what's going on. This actually didn't, isn't digital. At least I don't think it is. So you can only get the physical version. Um, I didn't read through it, but I mean, there's a lot of information on here. So, I mean, if you want to grab this just to, to get it, um, I'm going to get it for just to be a completist. But um, <clears throat> I guess it's something you don't really need. But I always thought these were kind of cool anyways, these like, extra little you know handbooks or whatever you want to call them um these are this is the main thing we're talking about so ten of swords now we're in part six part seven and part eight out of 22 so a lot still to go these all continue this is hellions uh new mutants and cable though the numbering of those issues doesn't matter really you need to know what ten of swords issue this is um Side note, Hellions Official has become my favorite of the Dawn of X books. Um, I also like New Mutants a lot, and I also like Excalibur. That's probably my top three. Um, Hellions, the award for weirdest yet most interesting team, like maybe ever, goes to Hellions. Like, I mean, look, look at this. It just, it, it's, it's like the most unique team ever. And it's so interesting. Okay, um, yeah, Hellions, I love it. Just buy it. Go buy it now. Stop thinking about it, buy it. New Mutants and uh, Cable. All right, so <clears throat> Hellions is wicked. Basically, um, if you've been following the Ten of Swords, there is um, going to be the 10 champions of Arako versus the 10 champions of Krakoa, and they're all going to fight. They all have to get their swords. So some things are obvious, like magic up here. She's got her sword ready to go. Um, other people, like Wolverine, they went on a quest to get their sword. Uh, Wolverine's got the Muramasu blade. Uh, uh, Storm's got Skybreaker from uh, Wakanda whatever each person needs to get their sword cable has a sword if you remember from his own series so that comes into play um everyone is getting their sword and then there's going to be a battle now mr sinister comes up with a wicked idea um <clears throat> spoilers are in effect um, for all my videos just so you guys know sinister comes up with a sinister plan um look how great the art is in here too i gotta say this nanny robot where is she this is like the weirdest character ever like if somebody in the comments wants to fill me in, I'm going to do a Wikipedia search on this because, like, I I don't know. This character's so weird, but she's so wicked. They got to make a friggin' action. They got to do an action figure set of all of these people. I don't know if it's going to, if they're going to do, like, a le like, I mean, Sinister's already on a Legends, and I've got Havoc, and there's also a Psylocke. So you can get those in Marvel Legends, but I want to see all these other guys. So anyways, I'm sorry. Mr. Sinister comes up with this plan. He's like, 
well, what if we go and get all the swords that the opponents are trying to get, we get them and then it's just a forfeit and we won't even have a battle. So everyone's like, yeah, that's a great plan. And he's like, perfect, I'll send my Hellions on that mission. And then, um, I think it was Exodus, but I'm not sure now. Or maybe Magneto. One of them, somebody's like, you know what, buddy, why don't you go? And he's like, well, I wasn't planning on going. And they're like, well, too bad, we're more making you go. So then Mr. Sinister has to lead the team. And there's an ongoing joke in this uh, in this book about Mr. Sinister's cape. He clone, he grabs one of his clones and he's like, I want to send you. And, they're, and the clone is like, well, I don't want to go on this mission. And they do paper, rock, scissors, <laughs> which is great. Mr. Sinister is very, it's a very funny character in the way they do it in this book. It's really fun. And he, and he goes to see Jamie Braddock and then Jamie's like, well, I want your cape in order to let you uh, go through Avalon or whatever. And he trades the, he trades the cape and then he's walking around with no cape and he's like, I used to have a cape. I used to look really cool. Now I don't look as cool. Um, I thought it was a lot of fun. This is great. I love Hellion. This is an awesome series. Highly recommended. Um, next one is New Mutants. And um, this one is awesome. Cypher, who is someone who I never really thought too much about until this uh, series. He's really wicked. Um, and I believe, was he on was he in All New X Factor? Darn, I can't remember if he was in the Peter David All New X Factor. That was a great series, which is a fail that I don't remember if he was in it or not. But I have a feeling that he was because, you know, Warlock is in there. Um, so this is sick, guys. Like, this is sick. Like, look, Warlock is his sword. I mean, how awesome is that? Um, this was a good, this is good. I love the art in New Mutants, the colors and everything. It's just really awesome. I really like this relationship with Cypher and Krakoa because Krakoa communicates through him and he's like, look, man, I don't want you to fight in this battle because like, you're going to die. Like you, you suck, right? As, as a sword wielder, you're like a, a code breaker language guy. Um, but there's no one else that can really do it. And Cypher's like, I don't want to send someone in my place. And you got to remember too, um, if you die in other world, you either A, can't be brought back, or if you are brought back, um, you're not the same. So this isn't like, you know, the other mutants where wherever you die, you just come back, right? It's not like that. So there's a lot more danger uh, uh, taking part in this battle. But um, I like this one. Uh, Ileana Magic is training um, Cypher on how to fight. Uh, and some pretty cool stuff happens. Exodus shows up and tries to do something really shitty. But anyway... I won't spoil that, but yeah, this was a good one too. Uh, it takes us to Cable here. So Cable, um, this one was all right too. So now we know Cable's got his sword already and they're on um, a sword space station, S-W-O-R-D. Sword is coming out with its own uh, book, which I will get. So we'll talk about that at that time. Um, you got these guys that remind me of like either Daleks or Cybermen or Borg, it's like these guys just want to like, you know, purge and destroy everything. They keep saying cleanse, cleanse, instead of exterminate, you know? So they they're, they come through some gateway, like, holy shit, look at this, look at these guys. So this is on some sword space station, and um, Gene and, and Scott have to have to uh, TCB, which is take care of business, and kick the shit out of these guys. Um, that, that was about it for this one. This one, I think, is just going to be leading into other stuff, so that's cool. But um, I still liked it because I like Cable and, you know, he's, he comes at the end to join the people on crack, uh, in, the, in, the, in the circle of 10. So, yeah, we've now got one, two, three. We got five. Got five of our 10 champions. So five more to come. Uh, let me know what you guys think of 10 of swords. You know, do you think this is just a bullshit storyline or whatever? You know, are you really liking it? I'm going to tell I'm digging it, man. I'm digging it. Like I, I I'm, I'm really into this. I I'm really looking forward to see the 10, the 10 champions versus the 10 champions. So I think it's a great series, but uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right, guys, thank you for watching until next time.